the entry point for this drop line that uh, will be used to tap this one anchor tree. Uh, the, the producer has uh, introduced a, an entrance point uh, and there are any of a number of them available from different distributors. Uh, basically what, what happens is that a, uh, uh, a hole is drilled into the top of the main line. Uh, we simply have modified a, a set of welder's uh, vice grips uh, that, will, that will clamp onto the, uh, onto the main line, uh, use a drill bit that will and a, and a portable drill that will drill down through and uh, by modifying the drill bit it will bring the sawdust up out of the line rather than dropping it down into your collection system. Uh, it's embarrassing to simply try to draw, drill these by hand. Oftentimes you will, will slip and the drill bit will go straight through uh, and then you have got a leak that you need to plug. The nice thing about using a clamp is that you get a nice clean straight hole with very few burrs on it and the idea of the burr uh, will allow for a vacuum leak. The, every step along the way you want to make sure that, that there are no leaks. I was going to say as few leaks but you want no leaks in this. Uh, the leaks are, 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 are both leaking of sap and more importantly the leaking of a vacuum in the entire system. Uh, unlike air pressure, a, a leak in a vacuum system, uh, if you've got a leak it introduces a reduction in the cubic feet per minute through the entire system. So these are simply put on, put over the hole, popped into place. There's usually a, a neoprene seal that will keep this uh, airtight and then you simply introduce the lateral line or in this case the drop line uh, at each entry point.